So how do you make no need, no fail dinner rolls? It's easy peasy, it's all it is, is time and temperature and roads frozen dinner rolls. The biggest thing is you have to plan ahead because they take three to five hours for them to thaw out and rise. And after that, it's time and temperature and we're gonna do it in the Dutch oven. So here we go. I like to cook them in olive oil. I love the bread in olive oil. I like to crowd the pan a little bit because I want them to rise up, connect so they also be kind of pull apart. Roll them around there, get, get them coated in oil. I'll put a brush again on the top of them. It also depends on the size of your Dutch oven that you're using, of course. Again, I'm supposed to point out the obvious, make the videos a little longer. And there you go. Now, it's just down to them thawing and rising. We'll put the lid on this, set it in the shade. I do not want to heat up the oven. And out uh, in direct sunlight, these black cast iron Dutch ovens will get pretty warm. So I'm going to put that in the shade, let them rise, and we'll see you back here in a couple hours. Okay, let's take a look, see how we've done with the rise. It's been about three and a half hours, the coals are heating up. Put a little more olive oil on them. And not necessary, but it's nice to do. Next step, we'll get the coals laid out and start cooking some rolls. Okay, I'm going to be doing this in the barbecue today because the wind's kicked up a little bit and the wind affects the heat, blows the heat away. So we're looking for 350 degrees. Basically eight briquettes on the bottom. Arrange them in a circle around. The reason why the Dutch ovens have the legs is so the coals, the bottom of the pan is not resting on the coals because that will cause hot spots. So all the coals need to go around the perimeter. And basically 15 on the top. To get 350 degrees and we're looking to 15 to 20 minutes. And remember if you're looking, you're not cooking.
still haven't found my good tongs, so I made some out of some barbed wire. It's what I had, didn't do it to be cool. Okay. So we're looking 15 to 20 minutes. Don't be peeking. Let it cook. Trust yourself. You will be able to smell the bread when it's getting close to being done. So I'm going to start the timer and we'll be back in a minute. One other thing to do halfway through the cook. Turn the lid. 90 to 100 degrees or 180 just to make sure everything's cooking evenly that you don't have any hot spots. <laughs> 